law normally is introduced after the crime has been committed, especially in the case of you know uh, cyber issues. And this is a new phenomenon. Unless the mistakes or the crime have been committed, law cannot predict that this kind of crimes could be possible in the cyber world. Um, having said that, uh, you have to have laws to regulate uh, all kinds of issues in the world. That includes uh, cyber world as well. So theoretically, yes, uh, you could uh, talk about uh, cyber world without reference to the law. Because normally law comes after uh, crime or mistakes has been made. Having said that, but uh, the basis of your question is whether law is required to regulate cyber world or not. Uh, to that I say yes, you need law. Yes, I think transparency is needed uh, from both sides um, because the government ought to be transparent into sharing with the people what kind of laws are being, you know, uh, are there and how it will be regulated. Having said that, of course, there are some uh, serious issues like terrorism and sovereignty issues and national security. This uh, we understand. Um, having said that, as much as possible, uh, people ought to know what are the laws and regulations. At the same time, people also uh, should be uh, cognizant of the fact that uh, uh, whatever they are doing when they enter the cyber world, there is not just entering the, uh, the country uh, that you are resident of, but rather you are part of the whole world. So in one way or the other, you could be violating some country's laws without uh, realizing it. So in that sense, both uh, sides need to be educated and aware of, and hence uh, transparency uh, and awareness is very important. So the cyber world being new, now who should be the best person or has the best judgment to make laws, implement laws and follow laws? Is it the ministers, is it the judiciary, or is it the you know, uh, uh, cyber experts? So I think one need to have discourse uh, and then formulate a mechanism through which you can make laws. Now, you know, they are saying that uh, uh, in the political world, whenever there is a problem, they form a committee and the committee will discuss in and out forever and they don't come out with any laws or regulations at all. Now in the business world, if there's a problem, they will throw money at it and think it will solve the problem, but in fact the problem becomes much bigger than the original problem. And hence, judiciary is supposed to be this sane, rational, uh, by the process. They come after the crime is committed, they analyze the whole thing and make laws. Having said that cyber law uh, is a new phenomenon and it needs more uh, discussion among all interest groups and formulate a mechanism which is very important so that one interest group does not dominate uh, either the law or the impact of it. You know? And so I think yeah, more needs to be done. Uh, yes, all have interests the administration, the judiciary, uh, and the clients or the customers or, or private individuals. So I think through the discourse, uh, one should come out with a mechanism to make sound, balance, a rational laws. If there is already freedom of speech in a democratic country, then the anonymous uh, commentary uh, uh, could be misplaced in many instances, because the country is democratic, it does have freedom of speech. Uh, hence, the laws protect you from speaking out. Then I think the citizens also have responsibilities, not just that you know, democracy does not necessarily mean only freedom, but it also has duties. That you, you have a duty to say who you are and criticize the government or the employee or the policy, whatever, in your name. So, anonymity. Uh, is misplaced in that sense, in most of the instances. Having said that, if that particular country or the government does not allow or restrict freedom of speech, 
then that sense you have no option but to do but to be anonymous because just for speaking out you are committing a crime hence you are liable so I think it's country or situation specific so if there is democracy for speech allowed then I think less anonymous uh, the opinions or writings are the better uh, to grow a healthy society but uh, if the government is controlling just for sp speaking out if you are punished then obviously anonymity is necessity uh, for example uh, in Tibet even if you paste a poster on a wall saying just do what's human rights you will be arrested you go behind bars if you just uh, shout a slogan you will be arrested you will be imprisoned now in that sense anonymity is important because you have no protection whatsoever for simply speaking out but then when there is a freedom of speech where we can even burn your national flag so to speak then it, it shows the freedom of speech uh, uh, in liberal sense protected uh, then you know, I think anonymity uh, might not be the best way to you know uh, uh, utilize freedom of speech having said that there are some special cases where again anonymity is needed because you are doing something uh, which is for the welfare of the general people but for the timing you don't want to come out then anonymity is needed so I think it's also durational as well